to man identified with Christ. If he's not dead, may God elongate his life. May he accomplish the goals that he is yet to accomplish. May everything in all be well with him in the mighty name of Jesus. If he's gone, well, to God be the glory, as I said, everybody owes it. It is a matter of time. You and I, at this point, will be no more. So nobody can mock anybody. But it reminds us, just like the passage that we have read here, if there is a time for everything, that there is a season for every purpose, every purpose that God has purposed to accomplish in this world, there is a time apportioned for, for it to be done. Take the simple life of you know, growing up as a human being. When you are young, or a day old baby is not is given birth to at a particular time. And that day old baby cannot be a father the same day he is born, cannot get married, cannot start work, cannot even be talking of uh, building, I mean, acquiring wealth. This baby still depends upon the mother, the mother's milk supply for you know him to be growing. And gradually, as he's growing, the parents will take good care of him or husband that doesn't hurt himself or herself. Uh, the baby, when he grows to his stage, you start talking about sending him to school. As a time for that, you can't send that baby to school the same day. If you send him to school the same day, I don't know who will accept him from you. So, you can't. So, at the stage too, even in that school, you start counting years from kindergarten to tertiary. And at the stage, you start talking of each child becoming an adult. And then, at the stage, he graduates. At the stage, he starts working. Then, at the stage, he becomes a full grown adult that will be. Asked to depend upon him or herself, no more upon the parents. Because there are two stages in life, broadly classified the period of dependence and the period of independence. Throughout the period of dependence, the parents, the brothers, the sisters, every member of the family, everybody will get up on his feet. But once he gets attained the age of maturity, that is, it is that stage where he is expected to be on his own, just like the hand when we the, the children. I mean, all those facilities are withdrawn and he's left to fend for himself. That period of independence is the period that he will live for the rest of his life. And if care is not taken, if he has not done so well while being dependent, he might have issues during the period of his independence. And at the point he works, at the point he gets married, at the point he begins to repeat exactly what his parents have done, become parents like himself, and so on and so forth. And then these are the periods that he, he has to accomplish some purposes that God has sent him to accomplish. <coughs> Excuse me. It's also expected at this time to have identified to whom he will belong, whether to Satan or to Christ. And I pray all our children shall attach themselves to Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Because that is where the prophet is. You know them. Those who are that are to Satan, of course, we see the manifestation in their behavior. They become a real boy, they become all sorts of antisocial elements in the society. At the end of the day, they are wasted away. And even if they are not wasted in terms of being destroyed by the laws of the land, they are wasted. They waste themselves away by the fact that they cannot fend for themselves. One way or the other, people like that always end up in disaster. That will not be a portion in the mighty name of Jesus. On whose side are you? That is the question that we are asking this morning. Christ or Satan? Because this is still the time that you can decide. A time will come. The brethren who have slept in the Lord today, they have no opportunity of choosing anything again. They have ended up the race. They have fulfilled their purposes. If they didn't, that is their own problem. There is no repentance in the graveyard. They cannot come back to say, oh, please let me come and finish what I haven't finished. There's this time for us now. We need the fact, the fact that people are dying is enough signal for us to know that life is but a shadow. Life is very brief. Everything is a portion. The time to be born, yeah, the time to die. And once you die, the next thing that is expected of you is to make heaven. But if you didn't make it, then of course, heaven is there for the children of perdition. That will not be a question in the mighty name of Jesus. On whose side are you? If the trumpet shall sound today, are you rapturing you? Am I rapturing you? I I posted something on Facebook I think today and I said, look, if God were to judge us by 100% integrity, good works, good deeds, I said, how many of us will make it? But to God be the glory, John 3 says, says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him, that is the choice, whosoever 
whatever they believe in him should not perish, but have eternal life. So, those who are on the side of Christ, they are in hope of reigning with him, being a joint here with him in heaven. And by the special grace of God, that shall be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. It is Christ who brought about the grace that we are enjoying today. You will send it up. Romans 3 23 tells us all have said that the portion of the glory of God. I cannot vouch even for my own integrity 100%. I cannot vouch for my transparency 100%. I cannot vouch, I cannot vouch for my uh, good deeds or good works. And thank God, even good deeds and good work will never save me. But with the presence of God, of Christ in my life, I know that the grace of God is there to bridge the gap of my imperfection and make me strong. And to, to bridge the gap between the standard of holiness that the Lord God Almighty set for us, standard of perfection that the Lord God Almighty set for us. I know by my own strength. I can't just make it. How many mistakes do I make in a day? How many errors do I commit? Put them together in one year. I put them together over the 64 years that the Lord has made me to dwell in India. If they were to be uh, correlated together, what would I have wanted to? But thank God for the grace. That's why we continue to appeal to every one of us. Be on the side of Christ. Because once you are on the side of Christ, the next step is that the Holy Spirit is the one that will be controlling your life. Yes, as humans, you make mistakes once in a while, but you will not enjoy it in the first place. Then number two, even if you make a mistake, you have somebody who has pleaded your case. When Peter faltered, denied Christ, at the point of me, Jesus told him, never mind Peter, I have prayed for you. Peter was like you and I. He had, in fact, he was still stronger, he, he was still be stronger than you and I, because Peter was determined to follow Christ to the end and to defend Christ. So that he won't be killed. But Christ told him that he would deny me three times. He didn't realize that or he had done it. So how much more? How many times? How many uh, of the provisions that the Lord made for us to follow that I have accomplished? But this is the only time. Once you are not yet dead, there is no for you. But once you are in Christ, the Holy Spirit is the one that will be your uh, pilot. He will be the one that is guiding everything that you do. Right from your thoughts. You know that everything we do comes from God. But that's why Jesus said, it is not what a man takes in that the Father says, but what comes out. Of his heart. Look at a man. You say you are you haven't stolen in the office, you haven't lied against anybody, you haven't even uh, chased any woman to stop about committing immorality with her. But in your thought, you see a woman, you are now to the point that I always say that if the truth must be told, many of us who are ministers of God, if we see a woman, a girl, a particular, two things will come into our hearts. Either to woo her for Christ or to woo her for ourselves. And I want to tell you the truth is that men in particular, the first attraction is to woo her. To your side, but the first thing that is when the Holy Spirit tells you, oh, now this candidate is now for Christ, not for you. It is then you begin to say, Okay, Lord, help me. You maybe have you Christ in your life, then it's then you begin to minister. And God help you, you are able to win such people or to the side of God. We are all faced with challenges, we are all faced with temptations, and many times we fall into them. But by the grace of God, many times we overcome. But it's not all of them that we overcome in reality. But what happens to the ones that we didn't overcome? We don't determine our heaven or hell. Of course, it's ought to. But that's where Christ comes in. If you're on the side of Christ, Christ will redeem you from that error which you have committed. There's no human angel anywhere. We are all, that's why the Bible is very right when it says your uh, righteousness is like a filthy rag before God Almighty. You can't do it on your own. Only the Spirit of the Lord can be directed to you. Even in between, you still make mistakes. Abraham had faith in God. Yet, he fought that. No way. But the other one is with temptation. And temptation is the mother of all sins. There is no sin that is not preceded by temptation. You look at somebody's property, maybe a, an iPhone, you look at it, ah, it's a sign of the ego. I find it until that evil spirit, that temptation will come. Why not just take it? I mean, after all, it's not looking at you. We went for an occasion. So we were in one time, if you hear one day, just about 10 minutes before, I still brought out my iPhone. I said, hey. My wife was going to say, oh, be careful. Why not give me this phone? I said, don't worry. And we entered into the church service. As we danced forward, by the time I get back out of the premises, I checked my pocket. My iPhone has gone. And lo and behold, that was it. No, they could be caught if I attract it. I didn't bother myself. I said, okay, get another one. Now, somebody did that. It's not a spirit. And we're in the house of God. So that one has shown me to be on the side of Satan. I pray for forgiveness for him. I hope my life has been me. And it's more than 30 years now. He must have finished with that phone. Or maybe I'll be caught, you know, and dealt with it. That's the baby. But I plead with you today, you cannot remove your eyes from evil unless Christ helps you. That is why it was Paul that says, I can do everything through Christ who strengthens me. No matter how much you try, no matter how disciplined you are, there will be a flaw in you that will have flawed 
about you and take you to help. So that's why most of you are not accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. The time is coming, though, remember that you have no opportunity again. Don't waste your time. Yes, the thief on the cross had mercy. The one by the right hand of Christ had mercy. God, he repented. But that dispensation has gone. You will not be opportunity to be saved at the last minute. And uh, the best thing is, while you are still having your free will, choice making opportunity, choose Christ. Because uh, the way of sin is dead, and Satan is the father of all life, but the Satan is the father of all sins, so Satan is better in himself. So why expose yourself to him? And then, you know, by following him. So I plead with you today, let us all come back to Christ. Because look at now whether it is true or not, yet man is being rumored to have died. That's the end. If we have died. I pray it's not dead yet. But no matter how much my prayer is effective, I know that one day one day he will go and where everybody will go. And even uh um, who has already said uh not only that Christ raised from the dead. Today God, one of the desire that uh, God added you see here to his life span. He raised it today. Where are King James and King David, where are uh, uh, his son, Solomon, where is Moses today? Every one of us, death, I mean death is a death, and we have to pay the price. Whether by way of us being transformed into the rapture with us and life, or or by way of us, you know, dying physically before them, I mean rapture at the end of the day. I plead with you. Time, there's a time for everything. So when you are alive, you can do all this. And in every, at everything that you need to do in life, also, there's time for you to go to school, don't learn this for life, but don't basic education, there's time for you to have them. Don't want training that you are supposed to receive, but there's time to receive them. Because if you don't receive them, you cannot impart them to your children later. And then if you don't have your formal education, there is a limit to which you can go in terms of uh, uh, position of opportunities in even your family or government of the society. Then there is a time. If you turn away with those times, you pay the other for it. There is time for you to work so that you can raise 